Hey Thrifty Beauty viewers, and welcome to another Thrifty Beauty review. This time it's not really a review, it is more of my favorite products of 2014. Now I do see a lot of gurus who do the, um, the monthly favorites, but honestly in any given month there may not be anything that is released that becomes a favorite. So I don't want to misconceive and pretend like something's a favorite that it's not. But luckily some of the products I have purchased recently have become quick favorites. So let's start. Something out from every category from foundation all the way down to eyeshadow and lip gloss. So my very favorite is the color tattoo in Barely Branded. As you can see here, it's a very flesh tone and it opens up. These are like little cream pots, just like so. So those are amazing for just laying down a base. I actually have it on today underneath my um, Stila, so I will show you that too. Speaking of Stila, one of my very favorite Stila palettes is the one I picked up recently. It's In The Moment, and I have shown this one and reviewed it. I keep my films, guys, and kind of OCD about it, but this is the palette, and I've actually used these two colors and these two colors today on my eye, and that's what you're seeing, and it comes with a liner, and these are just, it's a really handy palette, because I've been able to make some bright looks, and again, I've been able to make some very neutral smoked out looks, so really happy with the In The Moment palette, it's amazing. And of course, like I said, stickler, I keep all my original packaging and kind of put it all back together. Another one of my favorite palettes has definitely got to be the Revenge palette. Um, we had talked about this before. My favorite color being Duplicity, but definitely um, a very good palette. You get all the eyeshadows and things, and if you still can find these in your Ulta's, they'll be on clearance sale for like $6, so not a bad palette at all. And of course, it comes in the Infinity times Infinity box, which is really, really pretty. Another eyeshadow palette that I have just got, but I have fell in very quickly in love with, is the Elf Good vs. Evil palette. Again, there's your Night Villain, and your Day Beauty, you get a couple glosses and a liner, but that's really, really great for eyeshadow, and again, a new favorite. I have, I don't know what it is about Elf, but they have really been impressing me lately with not only the quality of the items they have, but the it, they're different. They're very different. Um, this was another one of my favorites, which was the Ariel lookbook. Looks like this. Once you open it up, you get a brush, more brush, bronzers, lip glosses, eyeshadows. It's just a really good packet. And to be honest with you, conch shell bronzer is this is the bomb.com. But um, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And when you're cutting in, and I'll even use this brush. It looks really dark at first. And I'm just going to show you guys how I work with these darker bronzer here. Because honestly, it has become my favorite. So I'm just going to take a brush. And I'm sorry I'm not looking at you guys right now. I'm using the mirror to the side. And just blend. That's the key to contouring. It's blending so you don't look like you have really heavy lines. So you just want to blend that out. And like I said, Conch Shell does a really good job of just contouring. Okay. The last palette, and can you guys tell that I'm kind of addicted to palettes? <laughs> The last palette, which is one of my all-time favorites, is the Urban Decay Feminine Palette. And again, in this palette, you don't have a dramatic amount. You get six shadows and a lip junkie, but wow, look at those colors. Very versatile colors. I think that um, I, I had an allergic reaction to the Urban Decay uh, Electric Palette, which just, like, crushed my soul. I'm sure you can understand, because I really love bright colors but I never get to mess around with them. Um, then I have two single eyeshadows which is kind of off the wall and they're Sally Girls. But these two Sally Girl eyeshadows that I got from Sally's Beauty, they're less than a dollar a piece with the, with the um, club card 
And I'm just going to open them up because they have such a beautiful coloration to them that I haven't been able to find these kind of shadows in any other color. Here is blue marine while this one right here is green apple. So yeah, those are just two singles that I was really excited about the color on. Um, moving on to the last eye item, um, or eye shadow item, is the new cream shadows by Flower, which is the Drew Barrymore Cosmetic Company that is exclusively sold through Walmart. And I showed this in a review recently, but that is how it comes out. So on to care items, I have two, just two care items today that I just absolutely could not live without. One is my Clean and Clear Gel Burst Moisturizer. Um, it's non-cosmogenic, it will not clog your pores, it does not make your skin oilier. This is amazing, like amaze cakes, guys. I just, every day, every day, twice a day. <laughs> um, and the other care item is another e.l.f. product, because e.l.f. is really stepping up their game. This is actually the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliant. It is in clear. When you open the tube, it looks like a standard tube of lipstick. But once you unroll it, let's see if I can get in here. Once you unroll it, I don't know if you can tell here, but there is a very gritty texture. And that exfoliates and massages the lips. It feels really rough. And then if you see the clearness, that is the moisturizer. So, but again, it's just a lip exfoliant, but it is, it really does an amazing job. And I don't have all that dry skin that you usually get around this time of year. I don't know if you can tell. Anyway, speaking of lip products, one of my favorite by far drugstore brands makes one of my favorite lip stains. And I'm sure everyone knows what a lip stain is by now. And if you actually want to see these, you can see these in my videos. This is the Wet n Wild um, Balm Stain Mega Slicks. And they come in a variety of color. I just pulled two of them out. I actually have all of them. Actually, I have all of the original release. I don't have the new limited ones, but I pretty much have almost all of them. But they're really great, and they last a very long time and are still moisturizing. So that's the Balm Stains. This lip product that I love, I wouldn't say obsessed, but definitely love, is going to be these Maybelline lipsticks. They're not the Color Whispers. They are the Color Sensationals. And I have a limited edition one and a regular one. Um, the regular one is number 45 in Pink Me Up. So I can put it in there. And that is Pink Me Up. Which is just like um, a neutral, nudie pink. And then this color I actually picked up just a couple days ago. This is number 1000 um, Lavender Voltage. And... Again, just crazy, insane, beautiful pigmentation and a creamy finish for all of those lipsticks. So they have really become a quick favorite of mine as well. Second to the last lip product that I have for you guys is a actual lipstick. And by all means of the word. Um, and this one is by Flower. They have the most cute packaging with the color on the bottom. And once you open this one up, this is... This is Coral Floret, and once you open this up, you can definitely see. But the formulation on these are what really impresses me, and they're just good. They're just good. I mean, do, need I say more? And of course, I'm sure all of you have not only heard, but probably own at least one of these. The NYX Butter Gloss, and then Vanilla Cream pie and again just super super soft luxurious lip product that I mean it goes over everything in fact I will demonstrate here for you guys flawlessly that that goes on and it just looks so moisturizing and it feels good and as far as smell mmm it smells like cake batter it does I'm going to lop the next two items into the same category. It's going to be concealers and foundations. And concealer-wise, this has been my go-to concealer since it came out. Um, and it's been out well over a year because it's one of the first products I actually reviewed. It is the Garnier, let's see if we can get it in focus here, it's the Garnier Rollerball 
and it is the Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle in the color light. They actually have a couple more colors now. And it has caffeine in it, and it has caffeine in it so that you can actually, um, it awakens the eyes. It actually depuffifies the skin. That's even <laughs> and the second item for the foundation concealer um, group, Dream Wonder from Maybelline. I actually did a review on this separately just recently, and I was I was on the fence about it, but now that I've actually worn it a few times, I have it on today, I think that it doesn't look bad at all. I was just not using enough moisturization before applying it, so it did look dry. So definitely, if you have drier skin, moisturize very well first. On to cheek products that are my favorites. Of course, we're going to have something that's all over a year old and still holding true to be one of my favorite blushes. And that is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. This is in the color 40. It is Pink Plum. And that's how that looks. Obviously, it normally has a dome, but I have used the crud out of this. And my last cheek product for blushes, Milani Rose Blush. I'm sure a lot of you have seen. The issue with the Milani Rose Blush is I have yet to be able to find it again in store. And I only got this color in number 7 Love Potion here, and I wish I would have picked them all up because they're absolutely divine. And that is the blush that I am wearing today. Um, another product for eyes. I think we're almost wrapping this up, guys. We got a few more products. One would be eyeliners. Um, and I have three favorites. The first one would be a gel eyeliner, and that is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner, and I get this one in the blackest black. And um, I use that for when I want something that's not going to smudge, that doesn't have a softer look, like I want that hard edge, then I would absolutely use this one. Now, if I want a smoked out look, which I am wearing two different eyeliners today, I am wearing both the Kajal and the Maybelline Just Basic Black. And the Kajal eyeliner has become one of my favorites very quickly because it can do a smoked out look with no effort, just none. And I know it's a little on the pricey side, um, it's $8, and I did get this in Charcoal Skies, and I have reviewed this, but this is your basic piece, and then your actual eyeliner. There's no rolling up or anything, so new favorite. Love this. I'm probably going to have to get some more colors because I think I see in like three or four more colors and this is a definite must. This one is the Maybelline Define Align and it does have a smudge brush on the end of it and this is in black. It's just your standard, it's just your standard roll up and roll, and roll down. But it's very good for getting under the waterline or on this waterline, or on the outside edges to darken it up, which is what I used it for today. And then the last product, guys, we're at the last product. The last product today is the Bellies by Maybelline. It is my go-to mascara. I just picked a new one up just a couple of days ago, but look at that brush. Look at that brush. Better yet, look at those results. I thought they were pretty good. If you want to share your favorite products with me or products that you haven't seen me review and you think that I should know about because maybe sharing secrets here. You can always do a video response or just leave a comment below. It doesn't got to be too complicated. We just we're hanging out here right? We're just having a good time and learning a little bit about the um, new products, new makeup, new techniques and until next time guys I will see you later and this has been our 2014 favorites so far.